Hello, my name is Rigo with Tarps and Tie Downs. Uh, today I'll be showing you guys how to open our upper structure system, which is pretty basic. We got a tensioner right here at the front. So if you come on over, you'll see there's two handles. There's a bottom and a top. Top one's to tension, bottom one's to release the pressure. So just pull on the bottom one and you'll notice it uh, latches it. So now all you do is just grab the pull, raise it, pull it out, and that's it. Now you just keep on going by releasing the buckle. So you just lift the buckle, pull the stock out, and pull your hook from the bottom. And then you just keep on going, release the hook, get some slack, take the hook out, and you just keep on going like this. Buckle, hook, keep on going to get to the back. Okay, so once you get to the back, at the back we have a J plate, which is in a quick release. To release it, just pull the release handle up, turn it, then you turn your actual flipper handle out, grab the handle, pretty much comes off by itself. Now to open the system, all you got to do is stand at the back, grab a couple, two buckles at a time, and just pull back. Again, grab two buckles, pull back, and you just keep on going to get it all good. And that's pretty much it. And then if you need to look at the back side, repeat the same process going towards the front. So now I'll show you how to close it. So close it. Grab your J plate handle. You want to make sure you put the back of this J plate on the angle right here. So if you notice, it'll It'll just pop right in and it'll sit on the top of the corner post right there. Grab your flipper handle. Lift this lever up. And drop it. That's what actually holds the handle from swinging out and keeping that shape in place. So now we come back to the front. What I like to do to make it easier, I don't grab the pull itself but I grab the fabric and I just pinch it. it. Makes it easier if you grab it right under the top roller. Uh, instead of grabbing the pole and it kind of wants to kink up on you. Grab it, pull it with it. And that's it. And then if you were loading on this side, then you just keep on pulling. Uh, before I show you how to close the front, I will show you how to operate our pillars. So, we got one right here. All right, so this is our pillar or roof support. Uh, they're pretty basic to handle. You wanna grab the handle right here. Make sure you hold the pillar in place, lift it, pull it back, and then take it out the chassis. Um, and if you notice, they do have a magnet on the back side. This is just to pull directly from the top and it makes for easier sliding. So now you just slide it. And then we'll go all the way towards the front or towards the back to the next post. Now to close it, swing it open. Make sure you get this rod on the chassis. Drop it, push it, 
get your handle and then lock them down. So now we'll go ahead and finish closing this curtain. So now we want to make sure we get the curtain itself under the palmet at the top. And if you notice on the top, there's a yellow cone. See it? Right on the top. That's where you want to get the top of your pole in. So get your fabric between the post and the palmet. And get your pole inside that cone. Insert it. And then drop it down here at the tensioner. Just rotate it till it drops. There you go. So now we got this is the release handle. We're gonna put it back in, pull the tensioning handle out. And I'm gonna come around this way. We keep on tensioning so it's pretty snug. That'll do it. You don't wanna be yanking way hard, just tight enough. Um, this little lever right here keeps the handle in place so that way it won't accidentally release the pressure so now to close your buckles uh, get your hook again you put it right back where you took it from uh, you got a bar right here put the buckle down that's it hook the bottom um, to know about how much you should Tension this guy right here, you hold the back part of your strap, kind of snug it up, and you want about, I don't know, 45 degree angle or so, and just pop it down. Again, put your hook down here, pull the back side, snug it, and you do want to make sure this part of the strap right here is not popping out like that. Um, we do make this little flat to stow them in the buckle itself. That keeps the strap from just waving on the wind right there and damaging your tarp. So again, not too tight, not too loose. Pop it. Grab the back side of the strap. Kind of pump it a little bit. Close it. And over time, they do get memory of the crease on the buckle, so it does get a little easier and you don't gotta pump as much. Okay, so now we're done. A good way to know if you got it properly tensioned is if you stand over here on a 53 foot trailer. If you whack it, you actually see a wave go and come back about a third or half ways. Then you whack it, you see the wave go and come back. Uh, if it doesn't make it all the way, it's too loose. If it comes back all the way to you, it's too tight, but it's pretty much impossible. To, you actually got to sit there and tension it super hard to get it that tight. Um, and that's pretty much how you open or close our systems.